in high school. And there was this one girl that there was always kind of like that, that awkward kind of sexual tension between um, pretty much the entire high school career. But me, you know, I, I said, okay, I, I want nothing to do with her because, you know, I know she sleeps around a lot. So whatever, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to do it. Like I, even in high school, like, uh, like even in high even in high school, Specter 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 knows. Like I told him the story already, but like I was looking for like a legit like relationship. It was is romantic. I wasn't trying to fuck around and shit, you know. Like that wasn't my goal. I was trying to. Although you could have someone and be serious. I could have, but I didn't. But You're anyway, a gentleman. Um. So junior no senior year. Um. Senior year of high school, this uh this girl was in the school musical with me where i was where i was like the lead character and we, so we spent a lot of time together turned out she was pretty cool it was it, she wasn't like a terrible person um but um one night we, we went to rehearsal in high school our our um our theater program didn't have like you signed a contract that said it like you are able to be kept there until 12 a.m the next day I'm pretty sure that's illegal, but we all we all signed it anyway. So it was one of those nights <laughs> where we were rehearsing till like 11 p.m. Um, and we started at 2:30 p.m. every day. So I was there for like eight hours. I was tired as shit. Um, but so thank you backstage. Said, no, no, no. She said, oh. she said, hey, uh, like we're all going to go hang out for a little bit. Do you want to come with? So yeah, we went out and hung out. And then I was like super, super tired. And she's like, well, my house is only five minutes away. So uh, we'll go hang out there. Long story short. Uh, we ended up fucking, um, but we, but like, I, it wasn't one of those like one and done type things. Like I, I said it was going to be one of those one and done type things. Cause I didn't really want to get attached to her at this point in time since she was a, she was like a junior and I was, I was a senior. I was going to graduate and like leave and I wasn't, about, wasn't about it. Um, and long story short, we kept going on with it up until up until my my sophomore year of college no 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 it going into sophomore Damn. Year of college um and we never we never put like a title on it or anything like that um well, it seems like it was a pretty good deal well no but we were still exclusive that that's not the point um oh. we just never called it what it was but eventually like it got to the point where it was kind of draining having someone who was still in high school like be your girlfriend because you couldn't see him at all ever and that was pretty It's also um, a it's weird weirdish stigma. Yeah, there's this weird stigma in college where if you're dating a high yeah. school you're basically a cradle robber, which is true in certain regards, but like in most cases she was she was oh fuck, she was 17. Um Ooh. Yeah, that's that's the part that's coming up. Um but she uh so so long story short we ended up breaking up and she asked the question she's like did you ever love me and i couldn't <sighs> honestly uh... answer it i couldn't like i didn't because we never had a legitimate relationship it was just something like we were we were there for each other and we spent a lot of time together and but it, and we and we communicated all the time but it was never Not one of those things ask. it was never one of those things that i could legitimately say like yeah i'd marry you that's not something I could say because it would be lying. So I, I hesitated and I didn't I, I didn't know what to say because it was such an off guard question. And she started like bawling on the phone and shit like that. And I felt really bad. I said, I'm sorry. Look, I, I know I'm in Tucson right now, but I'll, I'll drive the two hours. I'll come see you just to like talk this out. And she said, I never want to see you again. And so. Uh, so fast forward a couple months. Quick, quick get... question. Quick question. OK. Were you course, her yeah. first? No, no. Okay, I was gonna say because if that was the case, that that's that would probably change. why that would change. Yeah, that would be normal. No, absolutely not. She, uh, like I said, she was a girl that had like slept around a lot in high school, but like out of nowhere became like loyal <laughs> when we started. You like, changed her, yeah. homie. So it was it was the Good reverse. Job, pal. It was the reverse sluttoning. I was so confused. Um, I guess I should explain that too. Uh, so there's this thing in Arizona where when a girl, it, it kind of applies mostly to white girls, but like when they have like a, a sexual relationship once, they immediately become like a hoe and just continue down the path of hoeness. I don't know what it is, but it just happens. Path, path of hoeness. Um, 
Yeah. Like the yellow so, brick road. So, so it was that, but reverse. Like it, like she, she, like came one hundred percent, became one hundred percent crazy about me, and I don't know why. Um. Are they gonna say she became the ex absolute, like opposite of a hoe? Why? She became like a nun or something. She, she became a non hoe. I don't know what it was, but it was super weird. Anyway, so fast forward like four months down the road, right? And um, I get this weird text, and it's like. It's like, oh my god, you're such an asshole and shit like that. And I'm like, okay, well, this is probably I deserve that. the situation. <laughs> I'm like, I, I probably deserve it, but I don't know who it is still. So I'm like, who is this? And she's like, she kept saying shit. And I finally figured out that it was like her best friend or whatever. And I, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm an ass. But like, it was something like, did you want me to like still be in a fake relationship with her? Is that something you genuinely wanted for your best friend? Because I can make that happen. I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't, and then she's like, she's gonna file rape charges on you, and I'm like, what the Ooh, fuck? Like, fuck? When did that? No. When? And I'm like, there's no physical proof. And then, and then she, and then, and then she texted me, and she's like, or the the girl, the girl I had a relationship it with, relationship ship with, texted me. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna file. She doing, she confirmed it. She's like, I'm gonna file rape charges on you. I'm like. Wait for oh, what? Second, Buck. I'm gonna have like, team speak recording to Because podcast. you're an asshole, and I said, but I never raped you. And court, she said, the oh, court won't know that. And I said, fucking screenshot. And <laughs> she actually did take me to court for it, though. But I had the screenshots, so we're good. So you're not a rapist. Did she get in trouble? I am not a sex offender, and she did not. Oh, good. Get in trouble. I um. That's illegal. I, I mean, there's just... solid proof. The court said she was in emotional distress or something, so they let no. her off with like oh, with like a God. citation. Um, when I was, when I was in high school, there's this kid who, uh, I feel. he sent a dick pic, but it wasn't even his own dick, to some girl. It might have been, like, freshman year of high school. And, uh, anyway, he got charged as a, uh, sexual offender. Jesus. Yeah. Well, anybody else have anyth anything interesting? Any stories before I go back? No. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. You know I'm always loading oh, really? stories, but I need to take a break now. Yeah? I got a good eight minutes out of it. I, I gotta keep you interested. Gotta, gotta <laughs> keep something for the stream. Well, actually, this girl that I was talking to, she was from out of state, and I, when they, I wasn't even talking to her. Like, I just, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me just, let me recap. Don't stick your dick in crazy. That's the point I was getting at. I had to <laughs> <sorry>. anyway. <laughs> no, she was true. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, that that whole stemmed from that one conversation. Yeah, yeah, that's that was the I, point. I had forgotten what the point was there for a second. I did too. <laughs> continue, Baker. Continue. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. But, but this girl, she like this girl. Her name is Maddie, and uh, she texts me. She's like, "Hey, what's going on?" Blah blah blah. And then she, we talked for like six months, and then she texts me one day, and she's like, "I like you." I was like, "Cool, I like you too." Just trying not to. You're from out of state, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Uh, and Jesus. then she's, <laughs> and then she's like, no, like I like like you. And I was like, oh okay. And then uh, I kind of tried for some shit. Just I was bored, so I just kind of went with it. And then she said, I love you on the first day. Ooh, and then, that's <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, red flag, red flag. And then two days later. I had somehow made her mad. She sent news to my best friend, and now she's a hoe. Uh, oh, what a wild ride! <laughs> yeah, that was a, a wild days. story. From start to finish. That was the shortest story I've ever told in my life. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Cassie? Any crazy hoe stories? <laughs> no, actually, I don't. I don't. I don't mean like about you. I meant just you know. No, no. In your life. Um. No, actually, when I was in ninth grade, I started dating this guy, and uh, there was this girl, I guess, who had a crush on him, but she wasn't in our school, so I had no idea, and uh, yeah, she went fucking berserk when she found out that me and this kid started dating, and was, like, posting all sorts of shit about me, and yeah. Did you get, get into a fight? Like no, I fight? never met this girl once in my life, like, uh. we didn't go to the same school, we I don't even think we weren't even in the same county. What the fuck? Anyone here ever been to a, a fist fight at school? Or I any mean, type like, of fist fight? In the fourth grade, got my ass beat by another Asian kid. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, another Asian kid, as if you're Asian. 
I'm 25%. It counts. <laughs> it only counts on certain days. Which means what? You can't drive? For it. I can't what? Can't drive? I can drive. I said I'm white where it counts. I know. I said Asian, though. Are you Asian where it counts? Like, you can't drive? Really? Why like, that's not where it counts. Thing. Math is where it counts. IT is yeah. where it counts. But he's like that. Oh, no, never mind. That's win. Fucking, uh, what's, what's that one thing where you, eh, minorities get jobs? That, too. Whatever the word is. Uh, affirmative action. There it is. Affirmative action? Yeah, that one. You're an affirmative do action you really whore? get that? I do, yeah. I've gotten scholarships for my 25% Korean. That's bullshit. You don't look I'm Korean. Fucking, I am. I'm Hispanic. Should I? I should get fucking. You don't look Hispanic. Action. See how that works. Like, <laughs> you don't know me. I yes. don't know that. Me. <laughs> you know, like, that thing. It's called Twenty Three and Me, and it's like a uh, DNA test, and it tells yeah, you. Yeah, like, yeah. I want to do that so badly. It's hard. It, I... It's weird. I hear that a test is hard for females because of the double X chromosome. Yeah. I just I'm really guys. curious because I only know like my dad's side of the family. I don't. Nobody knows anything about my mom's side of the family. So I'm really curious. I'm related to the guy from Braveheart, like the main guy. I've never seen the movie, so I can't tell you. Mel Gibson? No. <laughs> no. He's kind of crazy. He's also an anti-Semitic, so maybe that's not a good thing to admit. No, like the the actual guy, William Wallace. The guy's name is William Wallace. Okay, then yes. That guy. And then I'm related to King Duncan. I don't remember which one. Really want some Taco Bell now. Didn't this start with Taco Bell? I'm pretty sure this whole thing started with Taco Bell. Holy shit. It actually it did. did. Wow, well, I thought right. that was bad. <laughs> that, that was a weird, weird turn that this took. <laughs> How? The moral of the story is uh, buy her husband Taco Bell. I can't believe that's how it fucking started with me not buying bloody Taco Bell. I know. Then we're talking about crazy chicks and getting your dick sucked by girls' faces <laughs> and oh my god. I have recorded that. Tonight's been a wild ride. I've, I've enjoyed myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> god that. damn. I'll be laying in bed and I'll be like thinking about what I'm gonna do like for dinner the next day and the next thing I know I'm like Thinking about giraffes in Africa, and I can't really think of anything really weird right now, but like, it, it's some weird shit, and I'm like, how the fuck did I even get here? I'm totally, like, when oh, I was in school, I used to space out like that all the time. <laughs> I'd be writing, and I would just be gone for like 30 minutes. Like, what, what? Connection, what? Connection lost. Whoa, what the fuck just happened?